Hi, hello everyone. It's me again, your truly, Baba Ray. Uh, welcome to my cooking channel. Uh, another recipe now, I would like to share to you uh, a Philippine recipe. Our very own the spicy bofis. This is a Filipino dish that's mixed using uh, pig or cow innards. It's eaten as appetizer or pulutan in the Philippines. While you're drinking, you, this is appetizer. It goes is a pulutan. Or uh, you can use as a main dish. Okay, but unfortunately, uh, being OFW, uh, living outside the country, uh, can limit my ability to cook uh, Philippine this recipe because of the ingredients of uh, availability issues. However, things should uh, not prevent us from the making our favorite dishes. Let's uh, keep in our mind that just uh, alternative uh, ingredients. Uh, we can also omit some ingredients and still come up with the similar version of our Filipino uh, recipe. This recipe makes a good appetizer of gluten, as I said, and some people in our place uh, would like to add more chilies to become hot this dish. But if you don't want uh, hot, lessen the chili or don't include, depending on your heat uh, tolerance. So, you make this dish as a main dish along with the steam rice, can get your uh, appetite going. But reminder, if you had uh, gout or arthritis, consume a minimal amount only. Okay? Happy eating everyone! Okay, as I said, I will show you the main ingredients of this spicy gopis. We need the cow lungs, lungs of the cow, uh, inner of the cow. This, uh, we need to, I buy in one kilo, but I need to clean in the, with the salt, diversely, and rinse with the cold water. Also, we need this uh, beef stripe, also I clean with the salt and a little bit of uh, vinegar to remove the unnecessary bad odors. Also, I use the cow liver. After that, I will show you how to cook this uh, uh, cow innards. <clears throat> but we need the uh, ingredients for the We need the uh, ginger, garlic, uh, onions, also we need a bit of salt, red bell pepper, uh, carrots, radis or daikon, call it for the uh, Korean. Also for the flavoring, we need the bean leaves, red chili, the dry chili, this is the dry chili. Also, we need the tomato paste, anato powder, black pepper, vinegar, and cooking oil for the sauteing our recipe today. And also, we need a, a little bit of salt for tasting. Okay, let's move on in our kitchen. Okay, we are now to clean our, to cook our innards. First, put the lungs in the, in the pot. This with the cold water. Also, this a uh, big fried. Heat it, rinse it, remove the nasari bad order. Then put water. And put the lungs and the beef pipe together. Then put some ginger like this. Crush it the ginger. Cut, cut, and crush it. Put the ginger. Bay leaves, salt, and soak the water. Okay? Then after that, we have to put the pine. Cover it, and we have to boil it. Maybe around uh, 40 to 50 minutes until the last end of the side tender becomes tender. Now, let's have a short recap. Uh, I cut down all the uh, cow lamb, I chop chop in the small pieces. Also, the liver and the beef stripe. And also, I cut the, the carrot slice and the uh, red bell pepper, radis or uh, daikon, the onion, garlic, and minced the uh, 
ginger. Now let's go. Now we're gonna medium, medium hot fat for cooking oil. About uh, three to table, three to four tablespoons. Then wait uh, to be hot in the pot. Then put first the minced ginger. Then sauté. Next, garlic. Chop garlic. One cloves of garlic. Huh? Wait until we do golden brown or the aroma uh, already infused and you already smell. Next, onion. Wait until uh, translucent the texture of the onion. Then we have to put the bay leaves during sauteing the onion, garlic, and uh, ginger. Now, next, we put the first the beef strike. It's not already we boil uh, and cook. So we need only to saute these uh, uh, ingredients to mix in the flavor. Next, the liver. After the liver, we have to put the lungs. Plenty, yeah. Huh? It's a one kilo of uh, meat lungs. Mix and saute. Then put some uh, black pepper this salt maybe two scoop of this uh, big spoon then saute Then put some water, give it around 2 cups. Mix it. Then cover it. Simmer until 5 to 10 minutes. Now we have to check that the simmer is already done. Now it's boiling. We have to put now the carrots. Then mix. After that, next by radis or lycon. Okay. Yeah. After that, put the half of the uh, red bell pepper, only half, because we put the last part on the before uh, we finish the cook. So we need the cartridges of this uh, uh, red bell pepper. Now we have uh, we have to add uh, the taste of this. Uh, uh, bobbies. Put now the chili flakes. 
and also the tomato paste the whole pot then mix Then put the anato, anato powder in a small bowl, like this. Put some water. Dissolve it. Then put the Office. Now it's already color uh, red orange. Then add some more some uh, black pepper. and a little bit more of uh, pea sauce Put some uh, seasoning. Maybe we need to add more water because it's the uh, water already dissolved. Evaporate. I think more salt. And we have to put all this. Uh, And now put the maybe the vinegar, maybe two cups of lettuce. Then cover it, simmer until the vinegar cook. Uh, let's check now. It's, uh, our book is uh, cooked now and ready to serve. Now it is okay. Totally simmer for 30 minutes. Now the color perfectly good. Now we have to put the remaining uh, bell pepper. Okay, then mix. It's ready to serve now. Okay, sit for one minute, then close it. Now, okay, we have to prepare now for the our table. Now, our uh, spicy bowl piece is ready now. And now, we have to try and taste if it's uh, good or not. This for you guys. Mm. Smells good, very sour. Now, we have to taste. Mm. Very hot. <laughs> the rice and the bow piece is really cool. No, very hot. And the uh, chili also is hot. Good. Right. I need water. Good. <coughs> Try again. It's for you guys. Mm. Good. Now try this recipe. <clears throat> it's very good okay but just a few reminders be sure that you don't have a gout and arthritis because this one is um, uh, too much cholesterol and not good with the uh, gout and arthritis 
uh, just eat in moderation, okay? And don't forget to visit my channel, Cooking with Babari, and click the subscribe and the button to notify you of my new videos. And don't forget to share to your friends and post in your Facebook account. Like and share. Thank you very much. See you at the next uh, recipe. Again, this is your Babari. Eat. Thank you. That's it. Mm. Mm.